हेलो एवरीवन हाय सो वेलकम बैक एवरीवन सो आई एम जसबीर सिंह एज मेनी ऑफ यू मे नो माय हु आई एम आई एम द को फाउंडर ऑफ पेप कोडिंग एज वेल एज आई हैव क्रिएटेड माय ओन कोर्स ऑन द फुल साइट डेवलपमेंट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई हैव वर्कड एज एन एसडी टू एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स सो लेट मी जस्ट जस्ट कंफर्म इन द लाइव चैट इफ आई एम ऑडिबल और नॉट हम दस फॉर वंस इफ यू इफ पीपल आर आर हियर just uh let me just confirm that are the people here or not so that we can start the session so, so today's session as uh, that's visible it will be on react so just confirm people that are we live or not what's happening hmm? okay cool <clears throat> cool 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 so uh, let people join so that we can start the session okay so today's session will be around react so i will be taking the react boot camp uh, okay cool cool uh, bupesh okay so mm -hmm. yes yes cool so uh, okay cool thanks test dummy okay so uh, the point over here is we will be starting react in this live session from the scratch i will not be inculcating uh, multiple framework and all those things i will be just starting from the scratch how react was thought upon where it should be applied and how you should be learning react as a, as a technology in the new 2023 so that is the thing that i'm going to teach you people so let people join and then uh, we shall start the session so uh, talking about these things so first of all uh, how many of you have used react how many of you have Yes, uh, sure, 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 Bupesh. I will complete this. Yes. Okay. So the point over here is that, ah, uh, ha. So in the year two thousand twenty-three, how you should be approaching React because React uh, was launched in two thousand fourteen by Facebook. Uh, it was open source at that time, and as of now, it has matured a lot. There is a very big ecosystem of, uh, surrounding it. So we need to. guide our ways through uh, through that we can easily learn these technologies because these technologies are here to make your life easier and these are used in most of the companies uh, if you talk, talk about uh, any uh, major company as of now they are using react as a front end ui library okay so that is the whole case so i think there are 30 people over here uh, and i can start the session so first of all let's just talk about what is react So React is basically a JavaScript library. So uh, what I am going to do is I am just uh, going to uh, unveil all the steps that we should be taking to understand this React as a concept and how to uh, work on it practically. Okay. So the first thing is React is a JavaScript library. So so first thing is that you should be able to write JavaScript. Okay. To build user interfaces. So basically, what happens in React that react is used to build uis so they didn't uh, tell us that which kind of ui so the uh, so why did they say that we are using ui because we can create any type of things like if if we want to uh, create desktop application then we can uh, use react plus electron okay to manipulate desktop apps that is seldom used but the major use cases basically front end or in browser so we are here react is used if you if we talk about uh, mobile phones or uh, iphones or android we have react native okay and apart from that we are also having uh, for ar and vr react can also be used in ar and vr also so react is a ui library so the first thing that it does is it changes your ui very efficiently so that is the first thing that it does okay so if you learn react then you can use the similar concepts to build ui uh, whichever ui you want okay it can be anywhere it can be on the mobile phones it can be on the vr headsets ar or desktop application wherever you want okay so that is the whole case and moving on so <clears throat> if we talk about react react is basically a, a library so why is react so sought after the point is 
whenever a fresher usually what happens in industry that uh, front end is generally taken by freshers okay and they majorly don't account for the cost of dom manipulation okay so in other words ui manipulation because as you already know that graphic cards ui manipulation as you already know that your your graphic card cost a lot more than your cpu or your processor okay so the point here is that changing the graphics on a ui is the costliest thing okay so the freshers usually aren't able to handle that much complexity uh, for the ui man manipulation so that's why the company name facebook as you already already know facebook introduced us with react why react was built by the uh, facebook company yes exactly dom manipulation is very expensive uh, and uh, at a lower level when your website is very simple at that times your uh, site will not uh, perform in a bad manner but as soon as it it gets toward a sim uh, either a uh, your uh, e-commerce web website or a social media website at that time react is required because at that time ui ui manipulation is required a lot let me just share you an example why it was created and what is the use case, where you you should should be using okay and pink waving okay okay yes cool cool sorry uh ha huh. so if i open linkedin okay linkedin is one such is one such hmm a social media website okay if you can see everything over here is a button you can click on everything and there are multiple if you if you can see here uh, there are four things like messages notifications are coming to me a, a video is being played uh, with that i can like i can comment i can repost and if i hover over like uh, it it shows these number of of react here i have chat here are multiple things over here okay so so if you want to build anything that requires this much of dom manipulation there are multiple things to handle first you will be having a larger team size you will be having you will be having larger team size okay so you have to have a structure have to have a structure in your code base so first of all these framework these libraries helps to create a structure second of all of course your ui manipulation your ui manipulation is very very costly okay so the major advantage of react is if you follow the rules of react then react will efficiently manage this ui and apart from that because of its uh, there there are different modes of uh, working with react like create react app it gives you a structure so that you can easily follow it and other people can also work on it okay create react app help with that so that is the first major use case of react okay uh okay so shall i move forward ha huh? so the first thing was that react requires uh, so the ui requires Uh, ma manipulation when when you are building a a bigger website like a social media web website or a e-commerce website and in in that case you have to use a framework because you will be having a bigger uh, team size okay so that is the first use case okay so uh, now starting with react okay when i opened the page i just uh, told you that javascript it it is basically javascript library Uh, for building user interfaces okay and where it is used i just showed you okay so the next thing is we know that this is this is library but rest of the things are known as framework like if you if you talk about angular then then you will call uh, it a framework if you talk about view you will you will call it a framework you you will not call it a library so the point over there is that frameworks are made when you have when you you have a lot of functionalities at a single place library is a is a small portion of it that you can use so react is never used 
singly okay so react is a library but its ecosystem forms a framework so react is never used alone so while building applications but we are going, going to use we will be using three things first is react for the ui man manipulation for the efficient for the efficient ui manipulation okay for changing the ui and we will be having another thing if we if we talk about browsers then we will be having react dom okay and, and that i will be showing it to, it to you today it has only the algorithm it has only the algorithm that are given uh, written by the uh, facebook developers and this react dom will use this react algorithm to actually this is the implementer this guy does the actual thing okay this actually changes the ui changes the ui or the browser ui specifically okay sure so let's just start and see these things in action okay i will not be using any create react app or any uh, setups for the starters because i want to cover the basics of react what is react what is react dom what is jsx what is a component uh, what are props these things are the basic building blocks of react if you need know why these things are important and how they have come up to this stage then you can easily code any complex level application with the react framework okay so let's just get started so for that uh, what i am going to do is i am just going to create a simple index.html okay so let's just build some ground rules okay so the first ground rule is if i am if i am going to create ground rules let me just move it and hmm ha huh. so so the first ground rule is so the first ground rule is that for learning react the the first thing that we learn that react is a uh, library that is used to change ui and it uh, can't be used alone it will be used with some other library to actually change the ui so for the for the case of browser we have react dom that changes the ui and for the case of uh, mobile phones or android or ios you can say we have react native okay and the second thing that we should always remember that your browsers that are browser only knows only knows html css and javascript it does not know react okay so you can think of react is an abstraction over these three things so that we can efficiently manipulate our ui okay so for the starters i am just starting from the scratch so for that i am taking a simple index.html file and i am just creating a simple html file so every react uh, application that can be as complex as, as it gets it should contain a html file okay that we will see later when we will be using create react app also okay and uh, browser is also also known yes as of now they know web assembly also so uh, for this context for this context we will be thinking around only html css and, and javascript yes they know uh, web assembly also wasm these languages are also know that are similar to c and rust these are just for performance purposes okay for the calculation part okay it is not for the ui part so we can just ignore as of now okay and okay cool mm, okay yes so uh, so if i come here the first thing is if you want to include react in any of your application first thing is to uh add cdn link cdn link to react so for that uh if we uh when when we we were in our school times then we used to learn from ncrts okay so as of now when you are going uh, to learn web development there are official documentations of uh, these frameworks or library that you should look upon because these will be the best sources for you to learn these te technologies because these are given by the people who have built this the, the same thing okay so i am going to uh, 
open this and i am going to a page add react to a web website so first thing is to add this react library okay so this script contains the whole code of react and if you open it if you open it then you can simply see you can simply see that uh, let me just uh, minimize it a bit hmm. yes if you open it you can simply see that it is a javascript file okay so what they have done they have written a, a very complex very complex algorithm so that they can easily manipulate your you okay so this guy tells you which changes you you need to make so that you can efficiently change the ui okay so that's the first link and you can also scroll through it and it is a very big big file and you can also see a variable that is present over here secret internals do not use or you will be fired okay so this is a variable it is kind it's kind of a, of a joke in in facebook okay so this is one such thing that you can uh, go through if you want to uh, read the whole code of react it is in in front of you okay this is a whole code of react that they have written so it is basically the algorithm it is basically the algorithm that tells how to efficiently efficiently manipulate manipulate your ui okay so the first thing is react js understood everyone ha huh? and after that you will be having react can't be used alone okay there is one more thing that you need to know that is react dom okay this guy is the implementer this guy implements your changes your changes where has this been lost okay just need to add a hmm so here i have added one more thing this is the react dom this is the react dom link and it contains the code it contains the code of changing the ui so what happens is this guy knows how to efficiently change your ui and this guy can change the ui so what happens is the react will tell you need to change these these number of things to uh, get to the final final state and react dom will implement those changes okay yes exactly biki exactly it is responsible for changing your thing and understood everyone please please show show some likes or show some anything you want okay reactions i think would be there okay so starting from here so we just had and it is also a javascript file and it will be rather longer okay it is a rather bigger file and it contains way more code because it handles all the all the functionalities of dom okay so coming back to our code base now uh our code will start from a simple div so every react uh, code base starts from a div okay and i will start i will give it id root so your whole application your whole application will live inside this root okay you will not write anything outside this root so every logic every ui uh, code you want to uh, write over here you have to write it here okay so uh, next thing was when we open this page we just got to know that it is a javascript library so you need to write your code in javascript and that will be on its own change into your dom thing okay that functionality is uh, handled by react and react dom so for that the first thing that we need to understand that everything is written inside a script okay everything is written inside a script so this script 
will contain few things. So one such thing that you need to understand is the first term is component. Component. Okay. So what is the what is the component? When I'm seeing this uh, web page, then you can think of it like this. Let me just screenshot it, and hmm, I'm going to paste it over here. Yes. I can leave it. I can leave it. I can just yes. Hmm. Yes. So there are few things like if you can see uh, on a logical level. So these things that uh, I want to highlight it, it from here that this is a post. Okay. This is also a post and we can have n number of posts. Okay. This is a nav bar. This is a nav bar. Okay. This is my profile page. This is my uh, top searches. Okay. This is my connections request. So I can think on a logical level, on a, on a logical level, these things can be named as, like I just said that it is a nav. Okay. It is a post. Okay. It is connections. It is my profile. So in react, what happens is you think all these codes as a component. And if you think uh, a piece like a, like a component, then it becomes a Lego block. Okay. So Lego blocks are a basic thing with that. You can build anything and you can reuse them also. So components are basically a logical representation of a UI element. Component is a logical representation of a UI element that can be reused. Okay. So that is one such thing. So for that, I just, I just need to uh, give you, give, give you a simple example, how that is done. So a component is created using a function. Okay. Because it is, it is uh, JavaScript. So you have to use function. Okay. And they start with they, they start with capital uppercase. Okay. So that's the rule. Okay. So I am go going to create a hello component. And what happens in this hello is that every component, every component, there, there are certain rules. First is that they should start from, from a from uppercase. And second is they should always, always return valid HTML. So the point over here is that react is basically a UI library. So it will be working with the UI. So this component thing was firstly to logically think all the thing, all the things that are present in your web page. And secondly, you have to return your HTML. So I, as of now I'm returning HTML. Uh, H1. Okay. So what you can think is as soon as you can just uh, build a mind map over here is as soon as you, you call this hello, this should return you a H1 with hello inside it with hello inside it. Okay. And now you have to put, I just need to remove this div and it should be here. Okay. And it should be here. Huh. So now I need to put, I need to put this hello H1 inside this root because everything, any complex application will always live inside this root element. Understood everyone? Huh? Okay, cool. So next is what I'm going, going, going to do is I'm using this react DOM because this react DOM is solely responsible for the heavy lifting or, or changing of my uh, UI. So for, for this, I will be doing React DOM. React. So first of all, I, I need to select it. So for that, you need to use document dot get element by ID. With that, I have got the root. Okay. So I can just name it const. 
रूट टर्म रूट ओके एंड आफ्टर दिस आई कैन जस्ट क्रिएट अ रूट और आई कैन जस्ट नेम इज रियक्ट रूट दिस बट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग माई रियक्ट डॉम लाइब्रेरी एंड इन इन दैट देर इज अ मेथड कॉल क्रिएट रूट दैट विल यूज दिस दिस डॉम एलिमेंट एंड विल ट्रांसफर इट टू दिस वेरिएबल एंड विद दैट नाउ your react can interact with this this root element and every element that lives inside it okay and now you, you can simply uh, do react root dot render and inside that you need to tell so what is happening over here you you can just think at a higher level that what i want to do is i am taking this div with id root with id root and i want to render anything that is inside this this component okay anything that is inside this component so for using this what you need to do is you need to use this kind of syntax okay not help your hello just hello so so this this kind of syntax so what is happening over here if you can uh, understand that we had two links they they will uh, handle it uh, accordingly your whole application will live inside this root okay and how you are going to read this code just you you need to go through this line okay this is rendering uh, inside react root that is nothing but this div with id root what it is rendering or it is what is what it is putting Inside that, that is the hello component. And what I have told you previously that this hello component is nothing but calling this hello, and from that you will be getting this h1 tag. Okay. So in a whole, what you are accomplishing over here is that you are trying to put this h1 inside this root. That is what you are doing. So let's just try and uh, check the output of this code for this i will be using an extension known as live server okay so let's open it it is already installed so you can just directly open with live server okay if i'm opening it let's just go over here okay and let's just check the console our next expected token this arrow thing what do you think what do you think the error has why this this, this error has, has occurred can you think of a possi possibility why the error is here if i am asking you is this javascript because i just told you previously that there are only three languages okay html css javascript that is understood by browser okay so do you think it is it is javascript is it a javascript language ha huh? is it a javascript language hmm anyone please biki uh, i will be explaining that thing uh, that you were saying na ki component might not return valid html i will be uh, explaining that okay ha huh. no it is it is not the thing we are not using jsx we are putting html inside javascript okay if you have built a machine that reads javascript if uh, for 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 that sake if you have built a machine that only understand english if you feed spanish in in between could it be able to understand that that language ha huh? sudo wiki anyone please Hmm. Could it be able to understand that that language? No, it will not be able to understand that language. Okay, so we need to tell how that could be done. So for that we have a thing known as Babel. Babel. So Babel is a transpiler. Babel is a transpiler. 
trans pilot that converts that converts your JSX. So so this syntax, this syntax that is inside this script, in which we have JS with HTML combined. That syntax is known as JSX. Okay. Because browser does not understand JSX and JSX whole purpose is for the developers easiness so that they can easily write the code. Okay. For yours, it is a simple syntax sugar. Okay. It has no use case uh, because uh, it's just for you. Okay. But browser only understand JavaScript. So we have Babel with us that does the work for us to convert JSX into which language that it understands. Huh? Please tell me which language our brother understand. Let me just go over here and let me just copy it from here so that we are sure. Yes, here is the third thing that is required. So every application needs if you are writing uh, React, you are building UI application with React in a browser, you need three things. Okay, so anything you use uh, will encompass this, these three things. Okay, so now if I executed it again, now I think it should work. Yeah, should work. It, it's not working. <coughs> okay, it's still not working because there is still a mistake. There is still a mistake. We need to tell it which type of content it is. Okay, so for that, you need to just Tell it src equals to text slash baby, text slash label. I think this is the thing that we need to do. Uh, huh. Type, type. So with this, we are telling Babel guy, bro, just need to change him. Okay. Okay. So if so, as of now, we can see that we are having hello over here. So summing up all the all the points, we had these three links. Okay. So the first thing, every React application will have this div with ID root. Okay. And your whole application will go inside this root. So this is how it happens. Okay. And next thing is this render will tell you how to read your React, uh, the whole React application. So first of all, we are rendering hello component. So we are going to go over here and it is giving us H1 with a hello written inside it. So what will happen that inside this root, this H1 will be put. Understood everyone? Huh? Please show of hands or just anything you want, any, any reactions. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So if we can see over here, if we need to verify it, we can just go and inspect it inside the body. We can just simply see root has an H1 hello. Are we all on the same page? Hmm? We know what is the component, what is JSX, uh, what is the use case of render, how to read this application and uh, what was the use, where React lies, where React DOM lies, where Babel lies. We know, we as of now know everything. So. These were the basics that you should be learning before starting working with React. Okay. And now, uh, if I pass HTML directly, it will work. It, it'll work. Okay. It will work. You just need any HTML because internally what is happening, you can just directly put this H1 also. Okay. But it, all, it is of no use case. Yeah. It is of no use case. It is of no use case. I can just verify it in direct HTML. Okay. It does no use case. Okay. So for that, what we need to use use is functions. We need to use JavaScript. Because why we are using JavaScript? Because JavaScript gives us functionalities. We can do thousands of things. Okay. Because programming language is the is the real deal. If you can add functionality in a structure, then, then that give, give, give you a super, super power. Yes, <clears throat> exactly. So, 
let's just move ahead. So this was the the basic intro for the HTML. Okay. So if you people are studying uh, React for a longer go, then th th this will help you a lot. Okay. So now let's just dive deep a bit into components. Okay. Dot not the JS. I will just use the JS for the HTML part. Okay. Let's just go over here. Let's just copy it out. So as I talked about, as I talked about this, hello is a is a component. Okay. So just think of it like hello is a function. Okay. And this is nothing but a superficial syntax. It is nothing but saying hello and just invoking it. Okay. This is what is actually happening happening and that is fed into render okay so if hello is a function and it returns a html component okay html uh, tag with that what i can do is i can just create n number of hellos okay so let's just do one thing function parent component Okay, and it returns it returns. So for that, uh, with the React, you, you can do this also. Okay, uh, I think it is having some issue. Just talk it later. Okay, or I just need to use a simple div for that. Okay. Ah, huh. so what if I do something like this? Hello. Do something like this. What do you think should happen? What do you think should happen? Huh? You can just uh, as of now we can just omit these two lines. Okay. You just need to focus on on this line. So what do you think should happen? So as you already know, your code execution starts from here. Your, your, your code execution will start from here. So first step will be this. And of course you are calling this. As of now, it will be same. It will be same. I, I need to re replace it. Okay. So parent component and this again, parent component. It should. Hmm? Yes. So <laughs> you both were wrong. You need to add this guy. Okay. This, this is similar to calling a function and this is, this is also similar to calling a function. So what will happen is that this hello will be replaced by anything that is returned from, from here. So writing this hello is nothing but writing something like this over here. Okay. So with this, you, you will be having these three hellos over here. So if I want to execute it now you can see that i will be having these hello but but i am having some errors let's just see uh this is having some issue so for that what we can do is uh react dot fragment okay there was one thing earlier react dot fragment segment so this is just for using wrapping these tags okay one more question if if i ask why do we need to? Why do we need to wrap these components? Have you thought of it ever? Yeah, it works. Yeah, it works. I think React dot fragment. Yes, this works. This works. Yes. I don't know why it is happening. Sorry. I was having this error. So, yes, that dot, dot fragment is used to wrap multiple tags. Okay, they are having three elements. Okay, next is what do you think? Why? Why we need to wrap these three? If I do something like this, if I put it out here, and if I remove the dot fragment, that dot, dot, dot fragment is used to wrap these tags. Multi, if you have to go give multiple tags, but why do you think if I am having three components? Then it is giving an error because it is actually behind the scene. It is JavaScript, and with with JavaScript, you can only return only one value. Okay, so 
that's why we need to wrap it inside this thing so if you think about the basics of if you are relate it with the other language then it will help a, help a lot is exactly uh, biki yes it is used to is exactly okay yes yes because it is internally it is javascript for us for us lazy developer they are giving this syntax okay so that is the beauty of it okay so uh, shall i move forward ha huh? so as you can see you can just reuse the piece of code you can use the for loop and you can just use that also okay so the next thing over here is uh, it is just a static html you can just easily do the same thing by putting 3h1 so 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 the magic is if you can just uh, give it a taste of dynamicity so as hello is a component but internally it is a function so you can also pass parameters to it that's how function work what i can do is i can just use pass a parameter so i can just simply pass name this b to it okay and name uh come to it okay with this i can pass a parameter to it and it is received in an object it is received in an object okay and this object is known as or this thing that you pass is known as you have passed a prop you has you have passed a prop okay but people say you have passed a prop okay and it is nothing but passing simple parameters to a function okay they are, they are just got for that we are using props we are props in this framework it is just bullshit okay okay so the point is you will be receiving this prop okay and uh, after that you can you also use these these things like you can also pass multiple parameters in this fashion okay this is the syntax so with this 26 and i think aman was 22 okay and with in this name lavesh and with the age of 23 i think don't know just guessing but i will not be putting the age okay so uh how does react function you can just pass prop like this okay and you will be receiving this prop uh in this object so as you 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 can think you are simply calling the hello function and you are passing these two parameters okay and you will be receiving these two parameters in this object okay so you can just for once you will be getting this b and a26 next you you will be getting a man and 22 and as these props will be here we can simply use this over here like this uh, hello with hello prop dot name and you are <clears throat> prop dot h so here what we can do what we can do we can just uh, do put all over here so the point you can see over here is that we can just pass data to it and it can use it okay so ha huh. so you can just see over here that we are having these dynamic data to us let me just uh, use this thing and let just see the output side by side so that it is very good for us it's compatible for us okay so one thing you can see over here is that uh, of course it will work similar to it you just uh, call the your your parent component your parent component constitutes of multiple uh, components and these will of course pass the parameters and the you can use them and by replacing these variables with the values you will just receive the html the final html and here is the actual html that you will be getting so this is a simple thing okay and one thing i want to tell you what if what if as you can see you aren't getting any age over here you aren't getting any age over here what do you think we can do over here 
we can just we can also as it is this thing this thing is very magical this thing is very magical you can think of it as a magic calculator because for the case of third i i didn't uh, account for the uh, third second parameter i didn't send that parameter so it is not giving me anything because i was because prop dot age was undefined okay so what does this curly brace does it evaluates everything that comes inside it okay so for that what i can do is if prop dot age i can just do something dynamic and i can do some calculations also so this thing is very powerful and th this is used at lot of places okay so if prop dot age is uh, equals to equals to undefined in that case i can tell you what i can replace with so i can also replace these things also okay so that is also one more thing that works with jsx so uh, is equals to equals to undefined then you will be putting uh, 23 as it or just the prop dot age that is one other thing that is known as conditional rendering it is known as conditional rendering that is you have rendered a thing conditionally okay so that is the whole thing i think you are able to understand uh, how to use multiple components and second how to pass props and the use case of prop is to uh, have dynamic behavior okay till now are we all on the same page ha huh? and then another thing that we learned is how to read your react application you have to always read from the bottom to top so one will go over here then this is called and if you encounter any react thing then you will call it you will evaluate that and that this will be replaced and after that all will will function like this and this will be returned okay everyone please tell me are we all on the on the same page on this so this is very important okay so the next thing that we learned is of course using multiple component at once okay so that is another thing and apart from that now let's just see how we can use you can use user inputs okay because the point is that without user input because if i can't interact with my linkedin application it is of no use to me okay if i if i can't like arpit bhyanes uh, post then it is of no use to me i will of course like his his post okay yes ha huh. so the point over here is that you have to have some interaction from the user and with that you have to change the ui okay so with this if i click on it it should change something okay i can just do anything with it okay it should change the ui okay so for that we need to have two things first we need to register our event that uh, user have interacted with us and secondly uh we need to change ui on the basis of that okay understood everyone so let's just talk about uh, dynamic dynamic dot js so the this the html not the js part okay with this command c command v and if i come over here and just as of now i want to remove everything okay remove everything hmm. hi aniket how are you hmm. but as of now i want to remove it just don't want to get clutter okay han ji so let us remove the parent also hmm. so as of now let us think of a counter okay so for creating count you just need to have a function of course a component is stated using a uh, function and i can just name it using counter and with that i can return a simple html also it will be containing of course a button with simple plus 
course, counter should be able to implement it. And again, just should be able to tell it that count should be here. Okay. Count should be here. So let me just tell you the count. Okay. So with this, uh, as you already know that uh, we need to put uh, this value needs to be changed on a core increment or decrement and button with just a simple decrement. So we will be building React, uh, this uh, dynamic component very intuitively. Okay, we will be making some mistakes so that we know how React works. Like fragment. After this, I just need to add it again. React dot fragment. Fragment. Okay. Why it's hang in front of me? Uh, React dot fragment. React dot fragment. But having an issue. Let me just go through it. Open with live server. <clears throat> just inspect it out. So, oh, okay, it's not rendering anything. First thing was this mistake. And you just need to put it over here. Okay. And then, yes. With this thing, uh, what was our mistake? I think I just omitted a bracket. No, bracket was here. And why it is giving me an error? I'll go to console. So react dot fragment uh, close button. Okay, that is the issue. Yes. Ha. Huh. So we are having this plus and this count of zero and this thing. Okay. I'm just as of now, I'm just omitting this part because I just don't want to focus on, on this part. I just want to work on this thing. Okay. So as of now, we have a counter. And uh, if user clicks on plus. Uh, the count zero should be implemented and if it is uh, equals to if it is uh, click he's clicking minus then it should be decremented so let just for 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 that case we can just use a variable as of now I see what i'm doing i'm using a, a count variable okay and you may be abusing me that he, he doesn't know how react works okay but i know okay but I am just writing, just questioning our, our, our thought process because uh, this count could be updated using any variable. So as you know, this what, what this guy does, this just takes a value and uh, replaces the variable's value with the text and just prints the output. Okay. And now it comes how you are going to handle the events. The first thing is, working with the events. Okay. So here I'm also, also teaching one other thing, how to create a react component. So the first thing that I did, I just created, just created the static, static HTML. Then I'm using events. Then I'm using events. Okay. Then I'm attaching, attaching event listeners. Okay. So the next thing would be to attach my event listener. So for that, what I can do is just simply put on click. If I just clicked on it, then my method should be here. Uh, it could be increment count. Okay. This is my method. So it should increment my count. So I'm just using this const increment count and it is giving me an, my, me an error because I am I'm not did it. Okay. So <clears throat> as of now, I just want to console.log increment executed. So this is how you can simply add an event listener. So this is this on click is known as uh, event listener. Whenever you click on this plus button, this function will, will be invoked. So similarly, we can have another decrement count. Decrement. Okay, so decrement count. Okay. 
So it was sad even listen to it also. On click equal to your famous decrement count. Okay. So now we have added just these two things and our code is working perfectly. And as of now it is it is working perfectly. It is not perfect, but it is as of now at this instant. 2056, it is also perfectly okay. So, the next thing, let's let just go to our console and check if we are good with everything or not. Yes, we are good. And if I click on plus, it is saying increment executed. If I do minus decrement executed, okay. So, my event listeners are working. So, my event listeners are perfectly, perfectly working. Okay. So, what I what I need to do is for me to increment the count. What I can do, I can just simply do count plus plus. Okay, don't abuse me, okay? <laughs> because I know I'm doing a blender. But for a beginner, they they should know. Okay, if I do count plus plus, because you 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 need to know two things that this is these two colors and anything you put inside the output will be replaced with an HTML. And this is how you add the event listener. That's how you work with your DOM. So this is how it should it should work. Okay. This, this, this increment is working. And if I am consoling, if I am consoling my count also, you can just console the count also. Yeah. Okay. So for you people to prove it. It is being changed. It is being changed. Okay. And if I console count over here also, it is being changed over here also. But why this 10 is not being changed? Can you can you think of a of a change? Why it is not being changed? Huh? Why it's not being changed? Hmm? As of now, you are just just uh, having the advantages of just the syntax. Syntax is saying the same thing you can achieve with with DOM. You you need to ponder about how why this UI is not changing. To change the UI, you need to rerun this code. You need to rerun this code. You need to rerun this code with the newer value of count. Okay. So with that, you need to use a feature of React for doing the same thing. Okay. Yes, exactly. Because it does not know that it has been changed that that we intend to change in DOM. Abhishek, the thing should be that it does not know that we intend to change it on DOM. So for that, we have to tell that thing so for that. Uh, these variables are not fitted by us. Okay, we can just simply do count. And we also get set count variable with us or method with us that will be given to us by react dot use state. So react dot use state is a functionality or a hook given by react itself. And it says react dot use state. Uh, is a method given by react, but it says whenever whenever you change you change your your uh, state variable variable this variable is known as state variable count variable that is created using u state okay whenever you change your state variable using using your uh, state using the method given by u state then we will re render render the component okay. in other words what will happen just leave this line every line from here will be executed okay understood so the point is that that 
this whole code will be executed and newer count will be replaced okay so with this what we can do is need now to replace this thing yes count will be changed accordingly but now we have to use set count over here that is the whole thing count plus 1 okay and count minus 1 and it just tells you that that this whole code with the newer count value should be executed again so now if you are going to increment it it will work now if you are going to decrement it it will work perfectly okay understood so if you are going if you are working with a react component that need dynamicity so the first step would be how i did it first step would be to create simple html tag okay html part of that okay second will be at attaching event listener third will be creating creating state variables okay these are the three steps that you need to take while creating a component okay so in this lecture i perfectly introduced you with the react ecosystem so the first of all things that that we learned were react react dom babel okay so the react is the algorithm react dom implement the thing and babel changes your jsx to javascript okay and your whole application lives inside an id known as root so uh, in the next lecture we i will be introducing you people with the uh, create react app okay so where there i will be showing you this root thing and uh, now this this root is taken by a react dom dot create root and it it will take it and it will render the whole component tree okay so it your uh, rendering will start from here it is just a fancier syntax so that you can write html inside the javascript that is easier to write so here is simply calling this hello function and it will be replaced by this hello thing okay and after this of course we are using javascript to render html so we can have multiple components also okay so this parent component component can have multiple components and we can pass uh, props to or parameters to this uh, children component for dynamic behavior okay and with that and with this 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 curly braces we can have uh, conditional behavior also okay next would be dynamic next would be dynamicity for that of course uh, why it is required it was it is required because user interaction you can't do anything so for that you just create the component you just think of the component and create the static html for it just this part and then add the event listener so that they can interact with you and then third part will be using this use state syntax so this use state syntax will change the ui whenever this state variable is changed using this state function understood okay so that's all in this lecture if you if you people have any doubts around anything in react or anything in your life you can talk to me okay so that's all from my side in the next lecture i will be starting with uh, create react app and we will be taking up a project and we will be doing that okay so if you if, if people have any doubt any issue you can ask me you can just talk it over yes jatin uh i will try if we have more people in, in hindi then i, I should perfectly try how to learn advanced concept like redux uh sure thanks aniket thanks aniket okay so how to learn advanced concept like redux in react uh for redux what i would be recommending is uh without react you should not be learning redux okay so for learning redux you should be uh, we have lectures on my uh, previous channels that you can look over the uh, coding channel uh, that contain lecture on redux also okay so with that you can just uh, do it and uh, i would recommend uh, to build applications like a simple shopping cart okay uh, watch a video around how to build a shopping cart application okay uh it should contains different uh, 
orders and with coupon code also so for building that you will be using reader okay so the best thing is that and uh, apart from readers i don't think anything is more difficult than than that and apart from that i will also be take, taking lectures on redux also okay so don't worry about that i will be teaching redux also but before that i want uh, you to make sure that you have learned uh, practice and learn redux sorry react in depth okay that is the thing okay so any more doubts any more issues anything you want me to do okay or any topic you want me to uh, do in next of my lectures or next of my lives huh uh my mom has given it okay uh, what is react according to your understanding okay so think of it like this uh let this say let this say mm, if you want to easily understand it now like for using react you you should be using react only when you have a very ui dense web page okay it is not very beneficial for the website like building your simple portfolio okay similarly redux is used like as we build uh, our application today if you see the code base in the in the second we had just a parent component and a uh, hello component but for a for a normal web page to exist let's just say uh, a simple web page should look like this we, we have a root component we have a root component okay and that root component can have multiple pages like profile page okay if we if we are talking about our instagram feed page your settings page okay and your uh, like policies page or anything or reels page if we are talking about that thing so there are multiple pages inside profile there 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 can be multiple things like your image your different options okay so there can be very long tree okay feed you can uh, see post inside those 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 posts there, there can be comments there 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 can be video there there can be chats anything okay so this tree can be very huge and inside the reel same could could happen okay if we are changing something like that is global like your if you are logged in or not or a theme okay with the theme what i what i want to do is i want to change these things these few things like this thing this thing to red okay so if i want to do these three things to red okay i need to send the message like this i need need to travel to every node then i then i will be able to go over here or apart from that what i can do is i can have a have a storage around it okay a uh, basically an enclosure around it and you can think it of redux and this whole application sits inside this enclosure and now anyone who wants to do their changes can directly get data from here so so, so you need not to travel these directions to change your things so that's why redux is very used okay so for a bigger application you should be using redux and when uh, there 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 is a famous saying whenever you you need to read, uh, you uh, need to use redux you will know that okay you will be having a lot of problem okay uh ha huh. so the next question is what's according to your best part of react uh for me best part of react is you can uh, learn it in isolation because you know that react is a library but you can't use use react on its own okay you can't use it on its own so you can just incrementally learn it react you can learn react after that you can just learn react router for routing you can just context api and then you can just learn redux and there are there are multiple flavors like redux flux and if you want to do ssr then then you can just go to next year so you can just incrementally learn it okay 
so that is the beauty of it and apart from that it is always it is always backward compatible so of course uh, you should always be focusing on the languages and then after you you should be learning uh, your frameworks but if we talk about comparatively with angular your react is always backward compatible angular is more 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 or less never backward compatible okay so if you if you learn one one version then you have to re relearn all all the concept for the ne next version that is the issue okay so the webpack webpack is a simple thing webpack <clears throat> is basically for our understanding what i can say that we need to uh, add a link of react react dom okay and babel and with some extra features webpack helps us to work on react extra extra feature like hot load that i implemented using live live server these things can be uh, incorporated into one thing using webpack okay in one thing okay yes it is a basically bundler it is bundle all the features into one so with the use of webpack and some extra features we have we uh, on production we use create react app so create react app isn't possible without webpack because webpack combines all these three features and ex some extra features so that we can work very easily in teams okay understood uh, apart from that any other issue ha huh? did you like the session ha huh? everyone so apart from that if you want uh, me to build any project or you want me to include anything i as of now i will be introducing react create react app some more features around react in the next lectures next live whenever i will be i will be taking and after that uh, i will be testing a bit of redux uh, and beyond that i i can build a project with you also how can we make component interact with each other for example if user changes one thing in one component then need other component to change like we uh intellectens i have already uh, recorded that video thinking in react okay that is the name of the video or there is there is an article there is an article on it or i can just teach that thing in the next lecture okay when i will be teaching create react app then i will be building a simple to do app okay so so that will in, uh, involve inter uh, process co component com co communication there i will be teaching okay uh, next class will be holding majorly your your create react app uh, how your multiple component can uh, interact with them how loops work okay how dynamic lists work conditional rendering and a bit of styling also okay 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 thanks our intellectual okay so so we can just call it a day if you be people have uh, any more doubt you can ask me or we can just call it a day okay so it was very nice teaching you are because uh, i have been teaching i have taught uh, react in last january last feb or so okay it's now my the second era it wasn't taught by me it was taught by one of my student i was just an anchor over here okay so that is the case as of now i am just back teaching okay so i would recommend if you people want to learn more about around react then uh, one thing you you can do is you can just uh, go to documentation name and just go to just increase the screen size you can just go to uh, beta dot this is the new do documentation beta dot react js dot org okay just for a bit okay hi manu hello kaise ho so uh, that's all from my side yaar theek hai uh, good night okay happy wednesday and now i'm getting back to work again okay so let's just uh, meet on the next lectures i will be uh, posting that on linkedin whenever i will i will be getting time for it okay bye bye yaar take care